Hello, thank you for joining me today as we explore how to sign into our Chromebooks and how to get to Infinite Campus. Infinite Campus is the student information system that is used by the School District of Philadelphia. This tool is where the students will go to find all of the digital learning resources that are available to them. Okay, so to start with, you'll notice that my, the screen on my Chromebook is turned off and I'm using one of the HP Chromebooks. This process will be the same whether I'm on an HP or a Dell, but just, just for our purposes today, we're gonna to be using the HP. Okay, so I'm going to come up here and I'm gonna press the power button to turn it on. So remember the power button is the one that has the circle and the line. So we're gonna hold that down to turn our Chromebook on. Okay, so now our screen has come up. So I'm gonna kind of shift my camera so that you guys can see my screen better. Okay, so once we turn on our Chromebook, it comes straight to, because we've signed in and we've activated this Chromebook and it's ready to go, it's connected, it's communicating with the School District of Philadelphia. Now what we need to do is we need to sign in again. Okay, so first thing we need to do is put in our password. Remember that this password is the password that is provided for the student by the school district of Philadelphia. This is the one that they will use to log in anything that they use for the district. Okay, if the student is in grades kindergarten through fifth grade, this password is provided either is provided by the school. So if the student doesn't know this password, they can talk to, you can reach out to the school or to the student's teacher. If the student is in grades six through 12, the student created this password. So it's really re their responsibility to make sure that they remember what this password is. Okay, so we're gonna sign in with my fake student account and my password. And so once I typed in the number, I press the enter key on the keyboard and so the first thing that the computer does is it's going to go to the internet and we're going to come to a screen where it's going to ask me to put in my username and password. Okay, remember this is the student's username and password for the school district of Philadelphia. So I'm going to put in my fake student username and this is the same password that I just put in when we had to start our screen. And now I'm going to click login. Okay, so here we are at Infinite Campus. So remember that Infinite Campus is uh, the student information system. This is like the house where uh, the School District of Philadelphia keeps all of the digital learning tools that the students can use. Okay, so a couple of important pieces that are here. First one is grades. This is where the student will come to check their grades. So this is pretty significant. Another important piece is attendance. So you can come and look to see if the, the student has been marked present for their classes. For our video today, what we're gonna focus on is our message center. The message center is the place where we can go to get to the links to get to all of our tools. Okay, so here on our message center, the first thing we see is a student launch pad. And SchoolNet is going to be one of the important resources for your student. SchoolNet is where they can click to find some of their textbooks. Now, someone at the school may ask for the students to do some work in Naviance. That's found right there. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more on our screen. And let's look at these tools. These are the various learning tools that are available to the students through the school district. Now, these tools vary by school. So the teacher will let the students know which one of them is the tools that they're going to be using. Not every student will use every tool that you see listed on this screen. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more and we'll get to our Google G Suite for Education tools. Okay, so what we'll find here is one of the most important ones is gonna be Google Classroom. Okay, this is where your student will go to get to their assignments. Another important tool that's here is Gmail. Even though the school, the students 
email address says philasd.org, it's connected with Gmail. So it's a Gmail account, even though it doesn't say gmail.com. So they can come and click here to get to their emails. These are the different tools for learning that are part of the Google Suite for Education um, platform or group of tools that are available. Okay, so your students may or may not be doing work in each of these different tools. Okay, uh, Jamboard is another tool that some of the teachers are using. It's a lot of fun, uh, very interactive. All right, and then the last tool that I want to point out is this one right here. This is Google Meet. When your student is meeting with the teacher for their normal class time, they're going to come to Google Classroom and they're going to click on a link from Google Classroom. But there may be times where a different teacher that your student may work with will send them a link through an email or, or uh, will post that link in Google Classroom. And so if they need to meet with a teacher different from class time, they would go to Google Meet and they would put in the information that the teacher has provided for them. Okay, so that is the tools that are here in the Message Center on Infinite Campus. Before we leave though, we want to look at what happens if we open our Chromebook and this is actually our screen. Okay, so what we're looking at right now is the home screen for our Chromebook. So what we need to do to get to Infinite Campus is we have to go to the internet. The way that this works on a Chromebook is we have to use Google Chrome. So that is this button right down here at the bottom. This is our Chrome browser. This is how we're going to search the internet. So here is our Google search page. And up here at the very top, where you see the flashing line, we're going to type in the School District of Philadelphia's email or website address, philasd.org. Okay, then we're going to hit enter, that enter button that's on the keyboard. And here we're going to go to the School District of Philadelphia's website. Okay, so this is a web page. It's available on any browser, on any web-enabled device. For our purposes, because we're on a Chromebook, we're in the Chrome browser, and here we are. We know we're in the right place because we see that it says the School District of Philadelphia. Okay, so what we're going to do, or what the student can do, or what you can do, over here on the side, you're going to click Login. And then right away, we come back here to Infinite Campus, okay? This is a really very important piece to know because this is where a lot of the learning will take place for your student. This is where they can access their grades. It's where they can access their attendance and it's where they can access all of those digital learning resources that are available to them through the school district. So just to refresh what we learned today, we looked at how to log into our Chromebooks. We looked at how to get to Infinite Campus. We explored the tools that are available at the Infinite Campus website underneath the Message Center. And then we looked at how to get to Infinite Campus if all of the tabs are closed and we're on our Google Home screen. Thank you for joining me today.